All right, fine people, let's get back to uh, part two of this video. And we're basically gonna make a fake little website for a bakery called Susie's Sweets. Yeah, I know, it's really, really uh, catchy. But I used a little program that you can get on your Chromebook called Paint Z. And I don't know if you guys can install it or not, but it let me uh, just to do a little sketch of what I wanted this to look like. So my navigation at the top, I want it to be um, pink. And then I want this pastel blue for the hero that says Susie Sweets. And then a picture of a cupcake is going to serve as um, the background for Susie Sweets. And then we want three boxes down here for cupcakes, cakes, and cookies. And I didn't space them out evenly because, well, basically with this little program, you're, you're hand drawing everything. And uh, that's not really my forte. And then I want this footer down here. And I've got it black for now, but we may change it to something else. So this is a rough sketch of what we want. And, and I don't want any big area here because that was kind of an accident uh, whenever I set out drawing this. So, but anyway, if we switch back over, you can see uh, this is what our um, page ended up looking like, edited with carrot. Okay, so we're gonna end up making this the pink color up top. Instead of start bootstrap, it's gonna say Susie's Sweets. And we're actually gonna put a little image in here of a cupcake uh, next to the word Susie's Sweets. And then we're gonna find some kind of cupcake graphic here that goes uh, probably about right here. And then this text will be, you know, turned into something uh, cupcake related. And you can see by default with this template, we have four boxes, but we only need three. So that's another thing we are going to modify. Now, if you guys remember your bootstrap, you know that that's not really that hard to do, but it is something that we have to go take care of. So let's get started with all that, okay? All right, so we are going to use the internet and find some images that will work for what we wanna do. Okay, now remember, we may use some images that are copyrighted for the purposes of doing these assignments. However, if you're doing this for real, for a real business, whatever, you are going to have to make sure that you have licensed the content that you're using. Okay, it is very important that you don't think you can run around and do this for real without having to get the license or pay for it or have somebody grant you the license. So just be warned that we have to play nice and you in real life and use things that we have a right to use on any website. But for education purposes, remember it's fair use. So we're gonna be okay as long as this isn't something that is shown in public or uploaded to an actual server. Anyway, I'm gonna type in cupcake icon. Let's see what we come up with. That's cute. I'll click on that and let's see if we can go grab that. Okay, so that's iPhone style. Hmm, I want the colored one that's cute. Hmm. Here we go, let's click on that one. Yeah. So let's see if it'll let me download this. Okay, 48 by 48 is fine. PNG is fine. Okay, and we'll download for free. Okay, now we can go to show in download folder. And there it is, okay. Icons 8 Cupcake 48. Now, this place actually lets you use it on your actual website. If you notice, I didn't point this out, if you link to this at the bottom, color icon by icon eight, they will let you use it. 
and then you could pay for a subscription to be able to use it without giving attribution. So that's just a little side note here. But let's go back to this and here's a little icon. And we want to keep things nice and organized. So what I'm going to do is right click right on my little bootstrap business that we put in web design projects. And I'll make a new folder in here which it didn't let me rename it without having to go down here and do this. So I'll just right click on the new folder, rename, and I'm gonna call this images. Okay, now let's go back up to downloads. I'm gonna take my little icon here and go down to images and let go. Okay, and I'm just gonna rename this cupcake icon Right click, rename, and we don't want to use spaces in something that is going to be a web page. So I always put a hyphen in instead of a space. Cupcake hyphen icon dot png. Okay, so now let's go back to our um, carrot editor. <coughs> I'm going to change this to Susie's Oops. Sweets, like so. And then I want the icon to be to the left. So I'm going to do image source. Okay, and I'll type in a cupcake icon.png. Okay, and then I will put an alt text in here. We don't need to capitalize anything. An illustration of a cupcake. And remember the reason that we do alt text is if someone comes here that uh, is visually impaired or has problems seeing, they may be using a screen reader to read what is on the screen. So this would give them an idea of what is next to Susie's Suites. Let's go ahead and save this. Remember, you can go File and Save File or Control S, whatever makes you the happiest. Okay, and I'll come back to this and let's refresh. Hmm, oh, I made a mistake because we were good uh, little web designers and we put everything in um, folders so that it would be organized and I forgot to add my folder name to this source. So I'll do img forward slash cupcake or actually I think I called it images and you don't ever want to guess or anything okay yep I'm, I called it images. And the reason this will work is you've got index.html and we're making a, um, a link to it or, or pointing to the source. And so from image HTML, you have to go to images and then inside of images, that's what the slash means. We have cupcake hyphen icon dot PNG. All right, let's refresh it again and see how we do. Did I save? Let's see, did I save? Mm, I don't think I did. Nope, I didn't. And you can tell that you haven't saved in Carrot because it's got the little circle if you haven't saved and it's got the X once you save it. So I used Control S to save. And now let's refresh and look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We've got our little, little icon over there and it is clickable because it's embedded inside of this link. Now, it did make the bar a little taller, but that's okay. We're just going to live with it because everything's still centered. And I don't really want to get into using more programs to shrink an image on a Chromebook or anything like that just yet. So we're going to work within the confines of what we have. Okay, so now let's worry about turning this from this black uh, or dark dark gray color into the pink that I wanted. Okay, so now let's go to uh, my little sketch that I had. Let's see, where did you go? Oh, 
it's in the browser here, okay? And to get this color that I want to use, I'm going to use my little eyedropper tool. We will get a color picking tool to use uh, later, but I don't want to get into that right now. There are several for Chrome that would let us do this. But this color is FF76D4. FF76D4. And I will do a review of how to read these color codes at some point, but we're just trying to get rolling with web design on a Chromebook. Okay. All right. So, where do we go to do this kind of override? Well, um, what I'm going to do is add a class here. Add a class here. And I'm going to put it after the BG Dark. Okay. That's really important. I don't want to override everything about BG Dark because um, I'm not really sure exactly what all's in there. So as long as you put it as the last class, you can override BG Dark with something else. So I'll have to make a class and I'm going to call it pink navbar, like that. Pink navbar. I'll just do control S and save. And then I'm going to go uh, to CSS here. So hit the little CSS. And we've got an override file they've already made for us called heroicfeatures.css. They've added very little to it, but it's already there and linked for us, so I'm going to roll with it. So I'm going to do dot pink hyphen navbar. And then we'll do open curlies, like so. Okay, and then I'll do background hyphen color. And then I'll paste in that color code that we copied. Now, I don't know if this is going to work without doing this next little trick, but I'll go ahead and save. So make sure you've saved index because we needed to add pink nav bar on there. And then we had to make the class. And remember, a class is created with a dot at the beginning of the name of the thing you're typing in. Okay. So we may have to come back and do something to make this override stick. Yeah, it did not pay attention to our little class. So if you remember, there is a trick to make something override even if it does not take precedence in the cascade. And that is the important uh, designation, the exclamation important. So let's throw that in there. And honestly, this is lazy web design. I'm not going to lie to you. But we don't have time for the purposes of what we're doing to mess around with it too much. Okay? What's this warning? That it, yeah, see, it, this editor doesn't even want us to use it. But I'm sorry, we, we kind of need to just to get this done. So there we go. We overrode uh, that and we can take a look at our color and see if it's a bit much whatever um, Yeah, I think I am going to to modify it a little bit to darken it Okay um, Tell you what I'm gonna go in this little editor here So I don't know if you guys are allowed to download on your Chromebooks, but uh, I'm gonna open that uh, little cupcake Okay, because that's something we can do. And I'm going to go grab the pink from the cupcake. So I get my little eyedropper. There we go. We'll match it with that because I know that's not uh, too much. right? So let's just highlight, right click, and copy. Okay, and if you guys don't have the app and can't do what I did, don't worry about it. It's okay. And we'll just paste this in over top of that other color. Remember, paste is control V. It's the same with this as it is any editor, basically. So now I'm going to save and go in here and refresh. Oh, yes, that's, that's much better. And it matches. Look how, look how sweet that is. That's so nice. That is so nice. So we've got our little cupcake in there. We have the colors that we want. Okay, and just for uh, to see here, if I shrink up my window, this is what it does when it go. If you're looking at it on a cell phone or a small device, and remember we got breakpoints that we can manipulate. But even if you're on the smallest of phones, 
and I can emulate that by making the browser as small as it'll go, we still have this lovely little cupcake here provided by Icon 8. Okay, so I am going to put a link to them in the description, and we thank them for allowing us to use that for our educational purpose. So basically what we did today was find this icon, download it, and add it. And then we uh, named our page Suzy Sweets. And finally, we did an override to get this color in here. So I think I'm going to stop this video for now because I don't want these to go on for too long. If you have any questions, remember you can always email me. It may take me a, a little bit to get back to you, depending on how popular this gets. But if you're one of my uh, in-class students, I will make sure to give you priority. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you for part three as quick as I can.